So today you've decided to create the cinematic black bars on top of your video. We're gonna find out how to do that in Premiere Pro with this tutorial. Welcome to a new tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. First of all, let's talk about the cinematic black bars. In the professional video editing world, those are called letterbox, which basically are two black bars at the top and the bottom of your video. Now, how are they used? Most of the times they're used to make your footage more cinematic. So what's happening? They're going to crop part of your video, which makes it look wider and in a way more uh, cinema-like. Sometimes I use the black bars also to add the subtitles at the bottom of my video. So to have a black space where the subtitles are very visible. I seen that all the YouTubers out there are showing you how to make bars just by creating an adjustment layer and adding a crop effect to that layer. I don't think that's the most useful way to do so. And I will tell you why at the end of the tutorial, but let's get started now. We are in Premiere Pro and I've got my edit right here it's just a simple travel video what we want to do is to go to window and open up the essential graphics panel and i want to show you this way because it's a new thing you might possibly learn what you want to do is to go to edit and right here we're going to create a new layer a new item go to the new layer icon click on it and we're going to create a rectangular shape Awesome, a new shape appeared in the program panel. It's gray now, very small. What we want to do is to go here back to the essential graphics, go to appearance and click on the fill to open up the palette color. We're gonna pick the black color at the very top of the palette and click OK. We now need to increase the size of this rectangular shape to cover up the whole frame and to do so, we want to go here to size, this is the scale option and we just drag it up until we cover the whole frame basically. So just keep going, uh, your sequence might have a different aspect ratio and resolution of mine so just, just drag it up until you cover the whole frame. That's what we want. You might have noticed that a new graphic clip appeared on the timeline. What we want to do now is to go to the timeline and literally extend this clip till the end of your video if that's what you want. So if you want to cover the whole video with your letterbox, that's what you have to do. Just drag it to cover the end to the end of the video. What you can see now in the program panel, it's a black box because that's what we have created. Let's go to the essential graphics and cl right click on the shape number one, which is the rectangular shape and click on rename. We're gonna be tidy and organized. So we're gonna call it black letterbox. Press OK. Okay, what's happening now? We need to create the actual crop effect, the bars moving. And to do so, we need to create another rectangular shape. So I'm going to go back to new item, new layer, click on it, go to rectangle. A new shape appeared in the program panel, which is still black. We don't mind and another item appeared here in the essential graphics. Right click on it and rename it as mask. Press OK. Now check this out. Scroll down in the essential graphics to the very bottom and click on mask with shape. Ooh, what's happening here? So we're using the second rectangular shape as a mask, which means this option is going to hide anything else but the rectangular shape we have created now. Of course, we're talking about the items in the essential graphics, but that's not what I want. I want you to invert it. So still here under mask with shape, click on invert. And now we are revealing the image underneath our, what's going to be our letterbox. We just need to change the size and animate it and we are done. This time we go to align and transform and we unlink the scale. So with this tiny chain icon, just click on it until it becomes white and we have just unlinked the horizontal from the vertical scale. 
option. What we want to do is to go to the second value here, which is the horizontal value, and drag it again until we cover the width of our frame. In my case, like that. It doesn't matter if you go beyond your frame. Now, let's say we want to create an animation starting from a black background and opening up and revealing our footage behind the bars. How do we do that? Okay, we go at the beginning of our timeline, so 0, 0, 0, 0, and we want to open up in window the effect controls panel. In the effect controls panel, we can find the same items, graphic items, we have created in the essential graphics panel. And you can see them here, shape mask and shape black letterbox. We're going to animate the shape mask. So open up the menu here. We go to vertical scale. And as you can see, they are already unchained because we are linked them before in the essential graphics panel. Go to vertical scale to the stopwatch here and create a new keyframe. Just click on it. There you go. You've got your new keyframe here. We change the value to zero. And now we have a black, completely black background. We're going to move forward maybe one second. So we go to the timeline and type zero, one, zero, zero. That's one second after the beginning of the timeline. In the vertical scale, once again, in effect controls, we're going to type 1080, which is the height in terms of pixel of my frame. Otherwise, you can just drag your value up and down until you cover the size of your frame, basically. Okay, so just drag it up and you can see what's happening there. But I leave it to 1080. What I want to do before I play back and see if it works, I right click on the second keyframe and go to Easy In. That's an option that is going to enhance the animation of your effect. And I'm going to play from the beginning. And that's what I've got. If the animation is too quick for you, what you have to do is simply to move the second keyframe a bit forward down in the timeline. So it's going to be slower and nicer. Okay, great. So we just made the bars disappearing as well. So they are appearing and disappearing. If we want to keep the bars here, we go to the second keyframe that we have created. So make sure you are on the second keyframe. And we simply want to change the vertical scale a bit lower. So I'm going to drag it down until I'm happy with it. And let's say I want the bars to stop here. And that's what I've got. If I play my timeline from the beginning, I've got a black background opening up and stopping right there. And that's it. You can do the opposite thing so you can make the bars closing again simply by adding another two keyframes and the, at the end of your timeline and reversing the keyframes. So from here, from this position, you want them to scale down and close. What I want to show you now is to go back to the essential graphics panel because we can save these bars as a preset. It means that you can create a template and keep it in Premiere Pro and you can use it in all your other projects. So you don't have to do this every time from now, but if you have it as a preset, you can simply find it in your effects and just drag it onto your clip. And I'll show you right now. Make sure you have the graphics selected and you go to the top menu, graphics, export as motion graphic template. Okay, right there. Keep the destination as it is, local templates folder, and include the video thumbnail. You can name it whatever you want. So we're going to call it cinematic letterbox. Press OK. Premiere is going to save it inside this local template folder for you. What do we do now? Let's say we have opened a new project and I'm simply going to copy a couple of clips here on my timeline right there okay they have not black bars but i want to add the black bars we go to the essential graphics this time under browse and in the search box type letter box press ok and there you've got it cinematic letter box what you have to do simply drag it on the timeline it already has the same length we have created. And if I play the clip from the beginning, here I have my preset done 
simple and of course you can modify this template as well. At the beginning of the video I told you for me this is the most efficient way to create letterboxes and you can see why. First of all it's very simple because you have all the graphic items in one single place which is the essential graphics and also you can save it as a preset so it's very useful for the next projects you can just add it simply by dragging your effect onto the clip from now on. I hope this video is going to help and if you want to learn more stuff let me know in the comments below what you want to learn about filmmaking, video editing, content production in general and I advise you to go and check my Adobe Premiere Pro full course on my website. You can find the same course on Udemy but on my website it will be cheaper and you will help me out more to support my channel and my work in general. So go and check it out, link down here or in the card. It's good to follow tutorials on YouTube but if you follow a proper course it's a better way because it's a structured course and you can start from the very basics and enhance your skills to intermediate level. So if you want to take video editing as a career or professional work or just simply enhance your skills as a video editor I definitely recommend to actually complete a course. I can't wait to see you in the next video, thanks for watching. Memories fall up the rolling